Hey everybody, this is Drive Fly Riot, the Get Up and Grow channel. Hey everybody. Alright, so today is a very big day for me because today I'm actually going to get my first stuff in the ground in my for real outside garden. And what I'm going to be planting today are potatoes. Um, and the method I'm going to try is the hay method. So I got myself some hay. I got myself my seed potatoes. I got myself some newspaper. And I got my little helper. Come over here, Abigail. <laughs> What's Abigail got? <clears throat> this is my little helper, Abigail. Um, she's going to help me plant the potatoes today. And for those of you who don't know what the hay method is, I'm not even sure if that's really the name. That's just what I'm calling it, is the hay method. But basically, it's a no-dig method of planting potatoes um, that you basically take your seed potatoes, you're going to put them right down on the ground. I'm actually going to have some newspaper underneath them. Um, but you're just going to put them right on top of that newspaper, and then you're going to cover it with a little bit of manure or um, compost that we have over there, and then the rest you're just going to stack on hay. And what that does is it lets the potatoes grow underneath the hay, and when it comes time to harvest, all you got to do is spread the hay aside. Want to get down? Spread the hay aside, and then they're just sitting there waiting for you. Um, the other good thing about this is you don't really need to work the soil because you're doing everything on top of the soil. So I got really rocky soil here um, that I didn't really want to treat with anything or till up, so I really didn't. Um, so this method of, of using hay just on top of everything was pretty attractive to me. So I'm going to give it a try, and I'm going to show you how I go about doing it. And um, then we'll see if it works, all right? So let's, uh, let's get all to right, it. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to lay down a layer of newspaper on the bottom of our, our ground here. And what that's going to do is kind of suppress any weeds from growing up along with our potatoes. And it's also going to give um, just a base for the potatoes to sit on to separate the ground from what you're growing. All right, so let's go ahead and do that. Alright, the next thing we want to do is we want to start spraying down the newspaper. And the reason we want to do this is A, to keep the newspaper from flying away on us while we're trying to work. And also, it's going to um, start helping the newspaper break down. So we do eventually want that newspaper to break down underneath, almost acting like a um, layer of compost. So we're going to wet this all down right now. Nope. Just spray in here. Spray in here. Good job. Alright, now that we have the newspaper down and the newspaper is saturated with water, it's time to put down our seed potatoes. I've got three different varieties of potatoes. So, my goal in the original plan was to put a block of potatoes, a row of onions, a block of potatoes, a row of onions. <clears throat> like that um, So I'm gonna try to build up Channels to put the onions in the dirt they need. I don't know how well it's gonna work, but that's what we're gonna try But for now, let's just put our potatoes down I got these these are seed potatoes at the, uh, the local home and garden center and the, I tried to pick the ones with the biggest sprouts on them so we're just going to lay these down in some rows. Okay, now with the p potatoes down, what we're going to do is we're going to take some of our um, humus and manure compost and we're going to lightly cover each row of potatoes here, okay?
So we got the compost down on top of the potatoes and I made sure to have some compost touching each potato so that the nutrition in that compost is getting to the potato. And now we're going to um, get to the hay. And actually, I want to make a clarification. I keep on saying hay. This is actually straw. There's a big difference between straw and hay. Straw does not have seed in it. Hay is more grassy and still has the seed. You definitely want to get straw, not hay. Straw, not hay. So every time I say the word hay, I'm being wrong. Get straw, not hay. Hey, don't get hay, get straw. Hey, not hay, straw. We're going to soak this all down with water now. Now we're going to continue adding more hay in layers. And um, I'm going to put another small layer of hay down. And then I'm going to put more compost on top of that. Soak it all down, put more hay, and you're gonna. This is almost kind of like that lasagna gardening. So let's add some more compost. Once again, we're going to soak it all down. Because really, we want this, these first initial layers of hay to start breaking down and almost compost on top of those potatoes. And we'll add some more hay. You want to come help? Here, throw that down. Put that down on top of there. Good job. Spray it down. All right, so Abigail's going to spray down the hay here. And what we're going to do is we're just going to keep on layering it on, adding some more hay, hosing it down, let it settle, adding some more hay until we have a nice big fluffy, they say about 18 inches of hay on top of it. Now, um, I didn't know how many bales of hay to get when I was at the local feed store. And again, I keep on saying hay. It's straw, straw, not hay, straw. So I didn't know how many bales of straw to get when I was at the feed store. So I got two, and two came out to be $18.50. And I'm thinking to myself, this is kind of a lot of money to be spending on uh, growing potatoes. But um, it looks like I'm only going to need one bale of hay, or straw, one bale of straw. So um, when you go to do this, if you go to do this, if you're looking at something about the same size, do yourself a favor, just get one bale. That's all you're probably going to need. But um, I'm sure I can use the other bale of straw for other things around the garden and uh, other projects I got going on. So no big loss. All right, so let's keep on spraying down Abigail and we'll keep on layering the straw on, all right? Yeah. All right, well, there you have it, guys. Three rows of potatoes. I got a little gully in between to plant some onions, fill it up with soil. And um, we're going to keep it this low for now and wait until the, the plants to come out of it. And then as the plants get bigger, we'll start adding more straw around them but um hopefully this isn't too much for now we'll just have to um we'll wait a couple weeks and we'll see if anything starts poking its head out all right um until that point hey get up and grow i mean straw get up and grow bye guys <laughs>